I hate dancing more than I can possibly explain. I hate doing it myself, which I can't anyway, but I loathe and detest the necessity to try. I hate watching other people do it. I hate the way it breaks up conversation. I hate that slovenly mixture of sexual exhibitionism, strutting contempt and repellent narcissism that it involves. I hate it when it's formless, meaningless bopping. And I hate it, if anything, even more when it's formal and choreographed. Those cavortings are so embarrassing and dreadful as to force my hand to my mouth. If I listen to music, I do not want to use it as an exercise track for a farcical, disgusting, brainless, physical public exhibition of windmilling, gyrating and thrashing in a hot, loud room. I can't dance. I cannot dance. I can't dance, and I so do not want to. Or is it that I don't want to because I can't? No, I, I actually do not think so. I really, really, really hate dancing and have not the slightest milligram of envy for those who can do it, if there is such a thing as being able to do the kind of dancing that people routinely engage in. Not so much an accomplishment as, a, as, a, as an affliction. I found from the beginning that a dance floor was a place I never wanted to spend any time at all, not so much as a second of my life. To this day I cannot abide so much as a second in a place where people are dancing. I find it simply unbearable. That savage element of dancing, the primal nature of it, has returned to our culture and is now the basic form enjoyed by most people in our polished society. Oh, God! I've given myself high just thinking about it. I hate dancing. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Rukash and Eva! Wow! Come on, come on, come on. That was incredible. Wow.